So you have my my little bag, black yeah, bag, the bags and uh, the, the, bags, yeah. okay, the passport. My passport, passport is with yeah. you, and I hope you have my umbrella. Of course, there's going to be a hurricane. Oh yeah, <laughs> the umbrella. We are going to Hampton. The hurricane is trying to make its way to this part of America, and I, I guess this is the area where people have been told to evacuate. When we face uh, challenges in life, it's like facing a hurricane. Let the hurricane come, we will face it. Queens Midtown Tunnel. The two queens going in. <laughs> Hurricane Irene is battering the North Carolina coastline as it moves up the East Coast with New York in the crosshairs. Mandatory evacuations remain in effect for the low lying neighborhood. Looking back now, there was a guy in my gymnastics class mm -hmm. who I kind of obsessed over, and I didn't, I didn't know why, and I didn't call him gay. I just wanted to be around him all the time. <laughs> okay. Strange, yeah. And then I went back to girls for. Are you in the closet? <laughs> <laughs> no. Actually, the funny thing is, is that when I did the tour with Madonna, uh, with Truth or Dare and all of that, they act she actually outed me in that movie. Wow. The first time I had sex with a man was with a Sikh. Now, Sikhs, they tie a turban and they're not supposed to shave their moustache and beard. The first kiss, I, I was literally searching for the lips, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it was all onion and garlic. <laughs> I'm meeting uh, Ross Blechner, the famous American artist, who was doing these beautiful paintings on the HIV AIDS theme. His work about the seriousness of HIV AIDS is quite similar to what I'm doing in India. He's doing it through exhibition of his paintings. I'm doing it by way of education, awareness. Hi, Ross. Hello, how yeah. are you? Great, great to meet you. So at what age you started uh, painting? Oh my goodness, I started painting like mm -hmm. when I was 17. What age did you start being a prince? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that of course is that's a, is from birth, but um, if you talk about art, then yeah, music. I started at the age of five. So you've been an artist all your life. Yeah, and I, I'm I'm seeing the same thing with you. I mean, they are so beautiful. My goodness. My work has to do with nature and memory. A painting like this says "Remember me" underneath, and a painting like this says "Remember us." Oh, beautiful. They were actually the memory of friends who had died. Oh, really? Yeah. Being gay has affected my work tremendously yeah. in the sense that, you know, you always feel different. You're kind of outside, and that makes you withdraw. That has really helped my creativity. I'm thankful for that. Did, you, did you meet Franklin? This oh, that's is Franklin. Franklin. Oh. A painting is a medium through which he has been able to express his emotions, his feelings, his frustrations, his depression. I think it's a wonderful way of doing it. I've been reading a lot about India lately. I know that the caste system is outlawed, mm -hmm. but obviously it kind of still exists on some level because below the upper class, it seems like there's a lot of fear and misinformation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, one of my favorite quotes is, that uh, gay rights cannot be won in the courts of law, but in the hearts and the minds of the people. You know, gay people move to New York, they move to Los Angeles. In the rural areas, there's still so much homophobia in America. It's harder to create that awareness outside of Mumbai and New Delhi. How do you get to those people? Do you have a boyfriend? Uh, no, I don't have a boyfriend. I'm still searching. To wait till you meet my harem. Oh my god. <laughs> That's why you don't have a boyfriend. You're not looking for a boyfriend. <laughs> I hate to be jealous, but I think I am a little. <laughs> so I'm, I'm a bit curious to know how, how you met Rajan. I met him through a friend of mine who is a well-known photographer. Uh -huh. He brought him over to my studio oh, okay. and I said to him, you are so beautiful. Oh. And you know, I mean, even when I was in India, Every time I held his hand, he went, oh, yeah, no, yeah. no. I, I can imagine, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. That's what a lot of Indians think still, you know? 
I mean, uh, they said, our country is so cultured. How can you have gays in India, you know? <laughs> I don't know what's... I still can't understand what is culture to do with uh, being gay and, you know? <laughs> really what's important uh, is that younger people yes. should understand yeah. that they don't have to be marginalized mm -hmm. and they don't have to feel, yes. uh, you know, that kind of pain that, a lot, yes. that I'm sure you went through. That's what I talk to people. I try to build that confidence in them and tell them that uh, remove that guilt feeling which you have. Exactly. And, and uh, be proud that you who you are. Free yourself. Yeah, no exactly. matter who you are. Exactly. No matter where you are, who you yeah, are. Yeah. You can be free.